Hey guys, it's Phil and Dan from Aussie Garage. We're here today for classic auto performance. And Gary and Vic have owned this shop now for a while, so I'm not quite sure. We're going to find out. Um, and um, we're going to interview them about the shop and how many cars have restored over the years. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see you in there, guys. How you going guys, it's Phil from Aussie Garage. I'm here with Vicky and Gary. Uh, Gary um, and Vicky, you guys own this shop and it's classic uh, auto performance. Automated performance. Yep. Yep. Now, um, so for one, how long have you had the business for? Uh, just on five years. Okay. We bought, yep. we bought existing business in Kenwick. Yep. Um, you guys had it, we're doing all Commodore mods and putting our houses and everything and there wasn't more sort of games. So okay. Yep. More preferred the classic cars. Um, so we took over, changed a few things, and stayed into the old school cars. Yeah, and sort of haven't done much else apart from that. Do a little bit of general service and stuff, get the cash flow going a bit. Yep. And um, yeah, so but the rent was just getting too big and too high in Kenwick, so we had to move. So we come out here a bit, but like just wanted to show. Got a beautiful setup here now. So it's yeah. squished, but yeah. So squished, but definitely lots of cars and stuff. Yeah. Not much yep. parking, but it's just got to deal with it. Yeah. Only because of the size of the cars, yeah. more than anything else. Yeah, well, uh, the kinds of cars do <laughs> yeah. take up a bit more space, yeah. don't they? Yeah, especially um, when you're waiting for parts and stuff. So. And um, yeah. with, um, you have a lot of clientele coming through here all the time, obviously. Yeah. Um, and at the moment, we can see you've got tons of cars on the racks. So, uh, how long does a normal project take for you to get through? Oh. Depending on what yeah. you're doing, I suppose. Yeah, it depends. You know, and the biggest problem at the moment is getting parts. Okay. There's you know, quite a shortage on trying to get some parts and stuff. Yep. We've got contacts for instance, states to get a lot of stuff through. Um, <coughs> I'm just waiting for some guy to get back to me about some car big assets for China. Because you can't buy them, they don't make the kits anymore. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Companies like Bosch don't exist anymore. Yeah. Basically, you know, they're all into the, the later model stuff. Yeah. They've cut out all the old stuff. But there is companies that are actually making aftermarket parts to replace some of that stuff. Oh, that's a good. Um, yeah, yeah there's, there's always been the aftermarket points and points and stuff and conventions, but even there, getting a bit thin on the top some days. Depends what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, just um, mobs making distributor caps and road buttons and stuff like that. If you know where to look for them. Yeah. So, and we can source a lot of that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. So, but you know, it could, it could take a week, could take a month, could take a bit longer. Depends on yeah. what we're doing, how far we go with it, and like I say, try and get parts for it. Yeah, that's not bad. So, Some of the engineering, we've got three on engineering at the moment. Okay, cool. And again, you've got to wait for the engineer. DOT. He puts his paperwork in, then he puts it into a dot, and then they take their sweet time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I suppose that's what you've got to look for. Yeah, one on go for probably over six months now, and we've got approval last Thursday. Wow, so okay. Yes. Yep. And now it's got to go to the pits and be examined. Yep. The engineer's done all his part. And you know, just wheel tracks and engine upgrades, yep. and they're going to be dyno because they're unrated what kilowatt oh, they've geez. done. Real. Yeah. So that's getting a bit painful, but there's people working on stuff like that at the moment we've got. Yep. So there's a lot of things going on in the background with the C4C stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No, it makes life easier when, they, when they're cooperating with guys yeah. like you. So it's it's starting to now. Yeah. Um, depends. Problem with dot. Sometimes it's, they're public servants yep. and they change jobs. Yep. So someone's doing something and all of a sudden you go in there, oh no, he's not here anymore. Yeah. So you basically start again and you get moved on again and then they put those people in, might not like what he's done, or they, but they're getting better. Yeah. So, yeah. So, nah. so I mean, with um, like the workshop here, what's the kind of stuff that you like specialising in here? Well, we do brakes, suspension. Electrical stuff. Okay. I've re rewired a couple of cars from yep. scratch. Um, one had HG caught fire under the dash. Yep. So that was just a mess. So I took it all out and rewired it from scratch. All the okay, cars right. hidden under the under the guards and stuff. Yep. So that. Carbies. Carbies, yeah. <laughs> Play around a lot of carby stuff. Um, yep. Clip tune ups and stuff. So oh, awesome. I've got the old round test machine I want to try and get that going one day. Yep. So I've got another computer one. So digital gas analyzer so that you need to get mixtures right yeah so yeah perfect so yeah 
um, done a lot of engine stuff. Um, done, done a few, but yeah. Come away, come away from that if we can. We're quite involved. Yeah, well, that's just the yeah. engines take a lot longer, yeah, don't they? So They're a bit perfect and everything else. And then trying to get parts of those now, it's getting, getting hard. And oh, yeah. And then, um, then you know, the rebuilders are struggling to get parts and stuff. Yep. And you're trying to get stuff out of states and get made and it becomes a bit of a headache. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, I mean, for you, from your point of view, like, what made you decide to buy this business in the first place? And You've always been in the car scenes, you've always uh, had a passion for it? Or? Yeah, well, changed my fears. He goes on a grandmother when I was 12 years old, so. Okay, yeah, well. My, my father used to raise a forest with three way. Yep. So I suppose grew up with it. Yep. Um, and I sort of got out, spent a lot of time doing forklifts for years as, as a mechanic. Yep. Um, and sort of got back now, I bought XM Falcon, and it sort of got me, got the passion back. Yeah. Stuff I around then, and for a mate, the panel shop and stuff. and. Sort of, I was working at RAC, doing roadside breakdowns as a contractor and going backwards financially. Okay. So this came up and said to Vicky and had met Vicky Long and said, oh, you want to buy a workshop? So... Really? Yeah. Give no, we know what we were in for. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got it cheap but it cost us a lot of money in the long term, so... Yeah, yeah. But I think yeah, it's paying off. Oh, so, I mean, businesses are kind of like that and yeah. at the end of the day, you buy them. Uh, I've been there myself. I've bought a business and it from someone, and uh, you know you lose a little bit, and yeah. then you gain a lot more, and then yeah. you have to find that niche that you're comfortable with in the business, and yeah, then you yeah. run from it from there. It's interesting how society prevails. It gives you a business. You got plenty of money. You make a fortune, and yeah, you yeah. drive around flash cars, and it doesn't work that way. It's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, forty years ago, thirty years ago, it might have been a bit different, but yeah. there's so many other people out there trying to do the same thing keep the head above water. Yeah, that's it. So it gets a bit of a struggle some days. And because a lot of the cars are here long term, we're not getting the cash flow and money turnover. Yeah. Most people will send them in for an invoice and they'll pay that and do a bit more. Yeah. We also it's send going. photos with our invoices. Okay. So one thing good with the program I use, um, everything we take in photo um, of the compliance plate, the number plates, so if they ever want to pass a vehicle on, yeah. they've got proof that that's the invoice and there's the photos to prove that they were done on what they were like beforehand. Okay, what they're yeah, like awesome. afterwards, so the workshop mate I use is absolutely perfect for that. And as I said, you can, yes. if there's no change of anyone saying, well, that, no, it's not that vehicle because it's got compliance plate and number plate. Yeah, yeah, so it all matches. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. No one can say anything or argue and that. Even if you send an invoice or you ran and say, look, we found this, blah, blah, blah. Send them photos by email. They yeah. look at it and go, look, okay, yep. Yeah. And if they wanted to come in, I would always keep all the old parts when they come in and show them. Yeah, yeah. And they go, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, thanks. Well, so, uh, unfortunately, you've heard horror, horror stories where people have said they brought the cars in and then and someone changed out. something yeah. and charged them for it. And yeah, half the time, they don't nice. see the part, you don't know if it's wrong. Yeah. And yeah. it's just been tossed away, and you go, well, and you don't was know it really broken or, or was it yeah. just cash? Or has it been changed? I've even asked customers mm -hmm. that want to take the parts home and say, make sure I'm in the bin, but most yeah. of them don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair enough. So, yeah. Not yeah, very yeah. good condition afterwards. No. So. no. Well, yeah. a lot of the stuff that you can't reuse really is, you know, especially when you're dealing with like water pumps and stuff like that, once yeah. they're done, they're done. You know, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's not much you can do with them after that. But, but yeah. we actually take photos of them on the vehicle yep. and with things, you know, leaking or, you know, wheel cylinders or, whatever, um, take photos of it as it, and if they can see, you turn the flash on and they can actually see exactly the condition it's in. So yeah. there's no no tricking you, with, that's what we've seen. Yeah, perfect. That's what yeah. you see. Yeah. Because so, yeah. they can't always get in, because we like, sometimes we like people to come in and we just sort of go, this is this and this, but yeah. they don't always remember. So the customer has been bought in, so... Yeah, well, yeah, that's just it. It's hard for them to yeah. come down just for the bloody check on the vehicle and yeah. So, yeah. stuff like that. And yeah. get that 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy owns the old car bar, he's, a, he, he's got a business out in the country as well, so yeah. he flies back and forth. And, yeah, yeah, this is a beautiful old bloody thing. He's yeah. yeah. gone away for a month, so yeah, yeah. he'll have to fix it up. So what's going on with this one here? Is it are you doing like what kind of work are you doing on um, the tune up and we're going to look at putting electric steering on it. Okay. And yeah. it's got a flat 
That's really oh, nice. <laughs> it's really heavy on the steering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And first got it, the motor been rebuilt and it sat around for two years and then they put it all in, got it all going and it started leaking a pus on okay. one of the head bolts. Yep. And the water pumps are seeping. And basically it's got two water pumps. Yep. Which is also the engine mount on the front. And they're both seeping, so they take them off and all the um, all the congealed. Oh, yeah. sitting yeah. around. Um, so we cleaned all that out, took the head off, didn't want to gas it, sealed it all, put it back together, and then had trouble with rust in the fuel tank. Yeah. It came back for that and cleaned all that up, but it's still a bit of a emission problem in the so we sort that out. Okay, great. Well, uh, so we talked about this one before, so what is it exactly? It's a 946 jar bar, okay. with a V8 flathead, uh, twin carbies on it, twin yep. um, two-barrel Strombergs. Nice. Um, hey, yeah, it's quite good. Guy um, bought him when we first got going, tune up, and he, he left some gas at the island, so he, he rang Vicky, so he'd come pick him up. Yep. He's like, oh, the truck goes great now. He says, did 75 mile an hour. Before, I only did 72, and Vicky goes, oh, Bill, did you say 75 mile an hour? Yeah, yeah. Where yep. were you? On the freeway. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so he, um, he um, well, whoops, we compared that to the kilometers an hour, and he's sort of like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. But he said some bloke in Zoo pissed him off, so he pulled out and passed him. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> to spur yeah. the moment thing, but yeah. 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 Discover that would have shocked the hell out of the person he just oh, bloody passed. I, I think it shocked the hell out of him too when we told him how many k's an hour it was. Yeah, so, yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah, probably thing needs a bit of washing, mate. But yep. it's done a, in a matte finish. Nice. Um, he bought it out of the, sta out of the States. Yep. A lot of work have been done to it, but... Nah, you know, nice. Sun's a steel fabricator, so they've done a lot of rust repairs and stuff in it. And, and painted it, so, but yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite interesting to drive as well. Yep. Being left-hand drive. Yeah, yeah. People get, people get a bit scary driving left-hand drive, but I suppose I'm driving a few different ones all the time now. So yeah, yeah, so get, you get used get, to it after a while. To, yeah. yeah, it is quite daunting because you, you sit in this side of the car when you, you think you should be this side. Yep. So when you're driving, you drift across. Yeah, okay, because yeah, Because you, yeah. you think you should be on the right hands of the line and not worry about the, where the car is. Yeah, You've got yeah. this much more of the car there. You go, oops, hang on. <laughs> a friend of mine has bought a uh, Galaxy. Yep. And we took it for a cruise one night. Another friend, Kelvin's in the front, and he's got a Lincoln left-hand drive. Yep. And we're driving around. Trap. And I'm just going whacking the head. Every time he drifted across, I'm whack. <laughs> Move back. He had a sore ear by the time he got home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he learned it's the first time really taking it out. Yeah. And because he's only you really got to concentrate then. Yeah, yeah. With left hand drive, but yeah, it's quite interesting. Oh, perfect. So, All yeah. right. No, you beside awesome another car job. and they go, yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, this is an awesome job. I love it, mate. So, oh, yeah. perfect little car. Yep. So. Yeah, a little. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he uses it, he goes to Bunnings and buys stuff. And yeah, yeah, it, well, if he's using it practically, yeah, why not, so, mate? It's yeah. a beautiful car to do it in. Yeah. I, if I had something like this, I wouldn't be going to Bunnings and buying shit with it. But but it yeah. size, I think it's one wiper on it, the size of it. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Not much good in the rain, that way. No. Uh, <laughs> but, but he does have two Thunderbirds as well. Yeah. Oh, right, nice. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, which he wants to sell, so. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah. Man. Yep. No drama. All right, let's move on to the next one. So you obviously have a repeat bunch of customers yeah. that are constantly coming back to you. Yeah, to work. bit by bit. The old crumby out the front. Yep. That comes in every few weeks and we do a little bit more to it and do yeah. this and do that. And, and, or Not the same thing. Yeah. 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 Not the same thing. The one thing, when she's got some more money, she comes back and we do a bit more. Yeah, yeah. And um, she loves her old crumby, so... Yeah, we were commenting that out earlier. Dan goes, it looks like uh, one of those tablecloths you used yeah. to see on your old nan's table or something it's like that. Actually, it's actually all hand-painted. That is hand-painted. Hand yeah. hand wow, painted. okay. I did. thought it was a wrap. No, 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 no. it's hand-painted. I did it for free to use it in Fremantle for an art show a couple of years ago. Oh, wow. They had a big floral art show thing, and she painted all by free. The lady sponsored by Julie Lunch Paints. Wow. And I put a matte finish over it. And, um, yeah, so. Wherever you see sunflowers like was, um, Williams was, and stuff like that, yeah. it's um, just yeah, the, uh, the same lady that painted that. Well, so that wherever you see sunflowers, it was, yeah. it was perfect before. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> that would have right. stood out, that's for sure. Yeah, but yeah, no, she loves her combi. They camp in it all the time, yeah. her, and her, her and her partner. Well, that's a good thing about Van. Yeah, he's, yeah. Not, he's not allowed to drive it. Oh, isn't he? No, no. <laughs> that's no, her baby. I can, but no one else can drive it. 
she's told her retired grandson she's leaving it to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fair enough. Um, so, but yeah, we do a good repeat customer as well, picking up a few new ones as well. Oh, perfect. So, but most of our business comes through word of mouth and Facebook yeah. and stuff like that. We've actually so, got a waiting list of about uh, four to six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, Everyone's doing the same way. So, so, so I quite enjoy, you know, teaching people stuff. I taught Tate for a year as well. Been nice um, to pass on. Yeah, yeah. Because it's basically become a dying trade. It is. Like so, we were yeah. said a number of times on the channel that. Yeah. Where was that so, charge from? Where was that charge from? Yeah. 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 Yeah, from Bunbury. Bunbury, that's so 440. That's the okay. Australian stroker in it. Oh, nice. And they couldn't get run all the time, it was wrong, the car was wrong. Yep. I basically went back to space at the start again and he just wrapped the right around. So, Perfect. Yeah. Well, he said my right. charger at the front of Kenwick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how he came to us. Okay, so what's this one, Vicky? It's a VH Valiant yep. charger. And this is your baby. Isn't this it? is my baby. Yeah, this is yeah. my baby. My last, my last Valiant. Okay. Um, I've had her for 18 years. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Paid a thousand dollars for her. <laughs> wow. Okay. You've done well then. It's um, worth a lot more now. Yeah. Offered the car dealer, he wouldn't take it. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Actually, you offered him too. Well, back <laughs> back then, like yeah, a lot of people were just giving these things away. They, yeah, they yeah. you couldn't sell them fast enough. But yeah. now they they actually they're worth some value yeah. for sure. Yeah, well, my late husband, myself, and my son, um, we stripped it. Yep. Um, netted another motor, so we stripped it. Did the underbody, did the inside, with and sound deadening spray. Okay. Um, did the seat. Um, found another. I found a CM wagon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Down in uh, Yanchip. Yep. And um, pick pick that up for five hundred dollars license. Drove it from Yanchip to Jaredale and took the motor out and put it in this. Nice. Got it licensed. Um, she's gone through a couple of motors since then. Hard to find people that know what they're doing on old cars. Yeah, yeah. So speaking from experience. And um, eventually found out um, then the motor I had in it, the 245, started making noises. So we picked up a high comp 265. Oh, nice. Um, and put that in. Thanks, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, now we're going to be converting it back to manual because the high comp motor doesn't like the yeah. Borg Warner 35. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Cam's too big, so. Yeah. Cam's too big, so. So we've got everything we need to put it back to manual, so she'll be going back to a four speed manual. Oh, perfect. Only yeah. spare time. Yeah, yeah. That, that's <laughs> when, fair when enough. we've got time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got everything at the moment. She's still drivable. It uh, just makes. Noises occasionally. That's fine. So yeah. he drives it and I drive his XM. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, that's it's a nice a bit XM they use as well. So, yeah, that's for it's a bit sure. tricky. So nah. I'm used to driving the XM now. I'm it's a perfect looking car. Like, I like how you've done it all, all well. She is nice. actually a VH XL. Yep. Um, but unfortunately, I hit a kangaroo in 2014. Yep. So the front is now a CM. Okay. But yep, yep. We're working on putting it back to a VH yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No. Nah. Another work in progress. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just it. Yeah. yeah that's but it's on the road. It didn't progress. matter. Well, that's it. You know, you're still front... driving it, so yeah. that's the main part. It was um, 18 months. My son, Aaron, is a panel beater. Yep. And um, so he did that at home in his spare time in his shed. Oh, Shipped perfect. it all the way back. Yep. And... Um, Put, in, put the other front on it because yep. it was pretty munted. It was a hundred kilo roux on a wet day. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. One hundred and ten. Oh, she's. Yeah, only time uh, I've heard her. Yeah, yeah. And not going to happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it took me eight years to hit it. Yeah, yeah. Because I've been working in Pinjo Auto One for for eight years before I hit it. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. Why yeah. I was leaving. So you're lucky you didn't hit one yeah. before then. So yeah. Yeah, well, she was my everyday drive. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know, it just happened to be, so maybe she just decided that she wanted a new front. No, no, that's it, that's it. But we'd done some work on it beforehand with the um, brakes and the drive line. So that was one thing that was very lucky. She yep. had just had another motor put in it at Christmas time and this was okay. June, yeah, yeah. June, July when I hit the road. Ah, she's so yeah. She thought she wanted a bit more attention. So yeah, 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 yeah. Typical. So she got what she wanted. That's <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. 
No. Definitely now. No, I love these cars and uh, the motor's perfect in these things. Um, yeah. And yeah. Uh, different variety of all the brands. That's it. That's it. Brands. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's one thing we haven't asked. Like, you guys, members of like uh, any kind of clubs? I'm in the Ace Four Car Club. Yep. And these in Hill Car Club. <laughs> Which we've got here today. Are. Yep. And Vicky's in the Charger Club. Okay. And I'm also um, one of the founding members of Wasma. Okay, yeah, yep. The C4C. Yep. And, um, so, yeah, so went to a meeting the other night. I haven't been in one for a while. So, yep. So, yeah, so that's things happening there. But, yeah. So, we're always, no, busy. Perfect. We're always busy with meetings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, well, that's it. <laughs> Live a busy life. The 404 stuff for the Ace, Ace 4 Club. Okay. And the, the Eastern Hill Car Club have just been um, registered as a associate club. Yeah, okay, so cool. They can do 404 and C4C as well. Yeah, awesome. And I'm going to do the 404 for them as well. Okay, so, perfect. So, yeah. Nah, nice. But mostly it's a modified, so they go C4C in most of them. So. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. what have we got next? Um, 